Hello everyone, this is Mouse Plays Games with a channel first. Um, we're playing a game that we received a review key for. This is Beast Breaker, a game developed by Vodeo Games, a North American game development studio, I believe. Um, yes, I was provided a review key for this um, late last year. It took me a while to kind of get to recording it. But, um, I don't really know much about this game. I know that it contains mice, which is why I was interested at first, you know. I have a brand to maintain, after all. But I'm actually quite excited to get into this game. So, let's take a look at what it's all about. We have an incoming transmission. One final time, I ask you to raise your sword. The beast outside your farm has cornered me. Without intervention, I may not survive. So we seem to be some kind of warrior, apparently. Oh, that is quite the impressive creature. Ambushed by a shard Nestrax. So I suppose... I suppose that is kind of an alien invader of some kind. Oh, I appear to have missed. So we've got a core and we've got scales that we have to aim at and destroy. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this particular... Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Phil drops to zero, the battle ends, zero actions left. Uh, sharp beasts have weak scales but sturdy cores. A beast's element determines its shape, composition, durability, and sometimes behavior. Okay, let's see what it does here then. Okay, so it just moved. That's fine. Um, what I want to do is bulk this right here. So it seems to be a matter of simple geometry, as it were. Um, I'm going to try and go on the other side as well. There we go. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, so it just moved. Scales grow back every turn. Navigate to grow to find out more. Okay, so it grows two at the start of my turn. Alright, so it protected its core again, which is not ideal. However, what I want to do here is... There we go. So we rebounded. We got some good... We got some damage on the core. I think what I want to try and do is just get back in close if I can. Okay, so it's protected again. And I know we do need to destroy the core. That's, there we go. That's, that, that's the goal of this. If I can just aim right. Oh, I was a bit too off there, okay. not mean to do that. I've got a... It's becoming clear that I need to, like, learn the angles of this game better and how rebounding works if I'm going to end up winning this fight. But I know I don't want to do that. There we go. And now I'm right in here. And all I want to do is... There we go. So we destroyed the core. And apparently our name is Skipper. Oh, okay. I 
exploited area on the ground is an attack zone. Navigate to attack to find out more. Okay, if you enter your turn in the highlighted area, the beast will attack. Okay, so it so it hits for two. Okay, so we've got... Hold on. It seems its grow has gone down to one, so it'll only grow one of its scales back now. But we, what we don't want to do is end our turn in this highlighted zone. So let's go back here instead. Just go in on that. And that's fine. We'll, sweep, we'll sneak back here and expose defenses a bit. Okay, turns to face us, that's perfectly okay. Let's just destroy the core as we intend to do. Okay, so it's a little bit of a rebound action. like we have another beast. Oh, this one's quite strong. A shard needle beak. Okay. Does Nimblin make calculated strikes to prevent a stronger attack? Okay. This ability generates ch charge. Okay, so what I want to do actually is try and go after some of these smaller cores if I can. I feel like destroying those will limit the number of attacks that it can perform as well as possibly reduce reduce its grow. So let's just try and break it a bit here while also staying out of danger as we can as we do. Okay, so I want to definitely start with that. We're all charged up now. Impale it with a sword. Pierces everything. Hmm. Well, inside a scale or core, deal one damage. Okay, well, I think I want to go just right for the main here. Oh, but we did take damage for that, so, okay, so that's how it works. It doesn't go inside, it goes right through. Okay. We're gonna take out one of its cores to stop it. Remove turns that remain before the beast rampages. If the beast rampages, you lose the battle. Okay. That does complicate things a little, but I think if we take out this... Rampage reset. Okay, so that... That stops it from rampaging. It lowers the beast's growth rate too. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought would happen, indeed. Navigate to ramp. Let's find out more. Okay. So if we destroy a core, it resets to seven. We've been charged up again, so let's. Strike the vital core as we do. There we go. Rampage is in five turns. What I want to try and do is Oh, but that didn't work. Boop, boop, boop. Um, Pierce is everything. You know what? Okay. That got us in. That got us into where we wanted to go, at least. So, I, th 
think that's fine enough. Um, okay. We're out of range of its attack now, which is kind of what we want, admittedly. Okay, that didn't really do much. Okay, destroy a quarter, reset the rampage. I think that might be our strategy here. So let's aim directly for... Because if we can't destroy the main one, we'll just aim directly for that. Oh no. Okay. Hold on. We're fine. Alright, so, quite literally breaking the beast, and we get a whole bunch of Blossom and or Shimmer Shards. This is a neat little game. I actually, I actually like it a lot. I was thinking it would be some sort of, you know, fighting sort of thing, but not in the way that, not in the way that the game is, not in the way the game is played. their moats. Okay, so I guess that'll... Okay, sword and shield. We have a new weapon, so... Let's see... A whole generation since they've appeared, huh? So it seems the magic in this world has been chased away by something until now. Sparks need to be untangled. Okay. Got a blossom spark and a shimmer spark. So we can craft new armor. We can craft a new weapon. A shell cracker with strike, spot flaw, defensive charge, and shield bash. Okay, applies essence on bounce, deal one damage, gain one charge. On core bounce, apply cracked, which increases our damage. On bounce, deal one damage, gain one block. And consumed all block. Plus five steps for each block consumed. Okay. So I'm guessing the, the little pause there in the top, top right of the window, that's the amount of steps we take when using an action? Okay. A fire lit, the sparks crackling. Nothing to craft, of course. Here's a map. Plan expedition. Farmstead in danger. So we have a renown level. Anything we can do here yet? No, okay. So the game wants us to go here. So we take our better equipment. Oh, okay, this is a definitely a new beast. A shard tusk crawler. Okay, okay. Rushing heedlessly makes for a fool's fight. Tailor your attacks to the gear you've got. Alright, alright. Your new armor has a special ability that modifies a piece of the beast. It's a bonus action to find out more. Bonus action time. 
Oh, okay. Gain one action when you damage the tile. Okay, so that glowing one there, if we damage that, which I'm going to attempt to do, mind you. Come on. So if we damage that, we gain an action. So let's try and do that. There we go. Plus one action. Good, good. Okay, so... I want to try and bounce off there. Oh, we went a whole new direction, but that's okay. Let's deal one damage and gain a block by bouncing ourselves at this core here. Ah, there we go. That was a very good turn. And we've got 22 block now. Use your shield. Defensive charge will prepare you to block incoming attacks. So that's just what we did there, yes. Um, we need 25 charge. Okay. Okay. We need 15 charge to use our shield. So I'm going to... There's our bonus tile way in the back. I don't believe we'll be able to get there. But I'm going to try and aim precisely right in there. Rampage reset. Thank you. There we go. We have three turns to collect the moats before they disappear. Okay. Then let's try and go... Let's see what going... Come on, I want, I want to get this just right. There. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I want to do. I want to channel it into a shield bash. Because we've got a ton of block, 22, which is good. Okay, reset the rampage. Can we get this moat? We did. We got a placid moat. Okay. So this will take it. Two, this will give us 210 steps. So I want to try and go right in there. Deal two, deal a bunch of damage. There we go. Reset the rampage. If you spot flaws in the beast cores, you'll do more damage and eat with each blow. Okay. So that requires 35 charge though. So we can't do that yet. But what we can do is, is aim ourselves right here. Uh, we might not be able, hold on, we might not be able to. We might not be able to, but I'm going to, I'm going to give us an action, a bonus action here. Okay. We'll, s oh, we'll strike. Collecting the moat, which is a tangle. And then we'll do our defensive charge again. There we go. Just attacked and got out of trouble. That's good. Okay. So our little bonus is back there. Which we can hit. Which, so I'm going to go for that. And I want to destroy this back core here. Because it grows two back. The grow is two right now. And the rampage is eight. So maybe if we can just alter those in our favor. That might be good. So that's our goal right now. We'll, I want to break that. And stay out of trouble, of course, as much as we can. Okay, our bonus tile is way back there. But I think we can still hit it. If we are fortunate. Okay, well we didn't, but that's fine, because we're about to break this anyway.
Okay. Time for some moat collection. You can just aim carefully. Oh, hold on. Just about had it. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, 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 perfect. Okay, bonus actions, good. Let's do another defensive charge and smack ourselves right into carefully. Oh, come on. Let's do another defensive charge and smack ourselves just so into. I can't help but wonder, if I take over the mouse here... Yeah, aiming is actually much easier with the mouse, so maybe I'm gonna just... switch like that. Nope, we're right in the... attack zone. That's not where we want to be. So, allow me to simply... Shift around that way. Okay, well, our bonus action is straight ahead, so I don't see why we shouldn't just do that. Give ourselves some damage for free, and then yeah, it's it's so much easier aiming with the mouse. We will grab our moat. We are in a very not good zone right now, so I'm going to just bunk towards that thing and settle. Rampage is in six turns. It's fine. Nope, we didn't manage to break it. Well, that's fine. Um, let's just do that. You know what? Uh, we'll end this battle. We got two moats from that. Very good. Okay. I like that this game allows me to switch between control schemes uh, just like that. So we've got Tangle Sparks and Placid Sparks from that last fight. Let's get some new armor. Gain 20 charge when we damage the bonus tile. Okay. The Revenger. Let's see what it does. So on, we've got Strike, the basic. On Bounce, deal 2 damage. And on Core Bounce, add 4 Taunt. While Taunted, the Rampage counter does not go down. The Beast Taunt bars feel the permanent effect. Ram of the Beast is increased by one, and it... Okay. If this is the first bounce, increase attack by two. Okay. So it makes it stronger, but it doesn't rampage. Steel Nerves. Gain six block. On the first bounce, deal three damage. Gain Retaliate when this lands an attack when you deal damage equal to its attack to the attacking core. Okay, so it is all about revenge. Um, I don't want to get hit. So I don't think I'm going to use that, actually. In truth. Who do we have here? We met someone named Cinnabar, and they're a mail carrier. Okay. Of sorts. They bear missives from those in desperate need of... There's a beast stalking a settlement at the furthest edge of Bramble Hollow. 
Well, we're going to break it. Just like the name of the game. Still can't do anything in the kitchen. Still can't do anything there. Bridgebury Rescue. Turn out the underground hall is being menaced by a beast's metallic scales. Okay. We're still renowned level 1. Um, but I am going to upgrade our armor here. Actually, I want to take a look at that again. So, yes, the 20 charge is gained when we damage the bonus tile. So that's actually good for our little weapon here. Sap and splinters, it's still heading due south. We gotta evacuate right quick, but we are here. We're going to break it. Seems we have another needle beak, possibly. Forge needle beak. Okay, so this one is a bit different. We got once per turn consumables to gain 15 charge. Okay. Rampage is in six turns. Forge beasts have stronger scales and more barriers. Okay. Alright, so I think what I want to do is forego the consumable and instead attempt to simply get our bonus tile. And we missed it. We missed everything. We got everything but the bonus tile. Okay. Well, let's try it again, shall we? No bonus action this time. But that's okay. We are fully charged. Okay, so, defensive charge, we want that lock. Okay, we're not... That's fine, that's fine. So I think what we, what we just want to do here is, yeah, as much defensive charging as possible with our bonus tile breaking, and then we unleash in the form of our shield bash and just try to, just try to break stuff. There we go. Rampage reset, that's good. Oh, okay, instantly gain 8 health. That'll be good if we ever take damage, but I don't intend to do that. We got a little moat over there, so... What we want to do is go for that, if we can. Maybe if we can just... Uh, there we go, got it. Perfect, perfect. So, Defensive Charge is the name of the game. Alright, Rampage is in four turns. There's our bonus back there. So... Let me do... Let me do this just a couple more times. Uh, do we have any moats to get? I don't believe so. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna hit reset the rampage. We can't damage those, so there's a moat over there. We're just gonna go for it. There we go. I feel like using a turn just to get some moats is uh, fine enough. Fine enough. Okay. We're gonna use this. Hit another defensive charge. There's our bonus down there, so let's just go after it. We 
get ourselves out of harm way there with a the little attack. Rampage in four turns. Okay. Uh, where are we? Okay, we're here. Well, what can we break? Anything? We're kind of in a little bit of a bad spot here. So let's just... Br okay, there we go. Break that. Good, good. Yeah, no, I think we just want to go straight for that. We'll take some damage, but that's okay. We have 32 block. That's fine. Okay. Mm, hit another one of these. Shield bash. Can we insert ourselves in there? I think if we just... Uh, we didn't get it right, but we can. Do that anyway. Bounce all over the place. Break that. We end up right there. Okay. Let's hit that. We got a shimmer. That's fine. We're not in harm's way. We go here. We go here. We're in harm's way again, but we've got block. That's fine. Okay, so... We do a little striking. We're in a really bad area, so... I don't see this doing much. But... Okay, we're not in that. We're not in the damage zone. That's good enough for me. Rampage is in three turns. We got to make sure to keep an eye on that as well. Okay. Snap that. Hit a defensive charge. Can we hit that? I don't know if we can. I think we're not in a good zone to hit that. Okay. Yeah, it's keep it's keeping that core that we want to hit quite um, shielded by the edge of the screen. So we're just going to do this. And then we're going to do this. And that's good enough for now. is not good but we still won't take damage that's fine hmm might we be able to hit that no we missed that's fine okay rampage in four turns Problem is it keeps regrowing that, which we kind of need, but that's okay. There we go. Still broke that tile anyway. Just needs to not regrow it. And we can. Able to hit the edge of it? Yeah, there we go. Perfect, perfect. So let's do that. 
snap you. There we go. I think if we just go, we can grab the blossom as such. And then finish it with a little bit of that. Oh, that's fine too. Get our charge back. Gotta say, Beastie, you're looking a little bit flawed. So let's finish that with a little special move. And put an end to your game. This is really fun. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Okay, we got. Ooh, okay, we got 672 renown for that. I guess we're a little bit famous. Thistle Whiskersmith, that's a, that's a name. We've discovered Bramble Hollow. We have a new companion. Still can't do anything in the hearth or kitchen though. What does our grandmother have to say? Ah, uh, hello again, Cinnabar. Alright, can we... nope. We can craft stuff we've already crafted before, but I don't want to do that. I want to fight again. Okay, so we gotta learn how to track the beasts. No bonus for that. Hold on. Maybe if we try out the Revenger? Okay. Let's try it out. Okay, so this is a different... different screen. Okay, hold on. Let me get my uh, mouse here. How do we move? Okay, we get materials. We have a tusk crawler.
it's getting quite close to our sediment. Um, a little bit worried, but that's fine. We can't actually get to it though, either. We need three of these. Okay, we've got three now. Perfect. Essences are applied on the first three bounces. Causes an explosion, dealing one damage to all scales in a very small radius. Okay. So we have another shard tusk crawler. We get a free turn where the beast will not attack us. Well yeah, we want to fight it, so... Alright, alright, so this is our little shard tusk crawler again. And we want to give him a strike. I think I want to go right here. Um, just because it'll apparently explode. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. I like that. So, gain six blocks on the first bounce, deal three damage. Okay, uh, I don't want to use that yet. Simply because, well... Okay, um, th gain six block on the first bounce, steal three damage. I don't want to use that until we have an opening. An opening such as that. But then again, we don't really need... Wait, wait, oh, ah, oof. I misplayed. But that's okay. Um... Right, and we still have our, uh... Okay, Rampage is in seven turns. So... His attack is currently two. Um, yeah, okay. So we just break it. Just like that. However, that um, didn't exactly give us many materials. So, might want to re attempt that. Might want to do that at another time. We still leveled up, that's good. And there is under par bonus as well, so that's something we want to consider, perhaps. I don't know what the par for that level was, but... Oh, 
All types of beasts, all sorts of different forms. Okay, so it seems the magic is gone, and that's what might have caused the beast to rampage. So, are they not alien then? Hmm. Okay, and apparently our cousin has gone out foraging, so we've got to look for her. Uh, let's do another tracking lesson, sure. No bonus there. Uh, I do like. I think I liked the shell cracker more, though. Um, as far as our weapons go, even if it doesn't give us a bonus, it just seemed to work better with our little kit of gaining charge, uh, gaining defense, etc., etc. Okay, so there's a corruption pool down there that makes beasts more powerful. So we don't want a beast to... We don't want a beast to go and find that pool. Where is it doing that then? Okay, hold on. Okay, well this is just getting ridiculous. The pool was over here, and it somehow got there before we could stop it. <laughs> Well, either way, that's kind of a bit of a acquired skill, I'm guessing, then. It's something we'll have to learn to be better at. Because that first attempt did not go well. But that's okay. That's okay. For now, let's just get started in doing what we do. Okay. Get ourselves right through in here. There's our free turn gone by. <laughs> that was a very good attack. I'm okay with that. Um, the moat there, I don't think we're going to be able to grab it, so what I want to just do is go for this. Oh, we grabbed it anyway, that's fine. Okay, well, we've got so much block at this point it doesn't matter. So let's just do this. And get in towards our bonus there. There we 
go. Get our bonus, get out of harm's way. we go. We're breaking all of the cores now. I want that boat. Rampage in seven turns. Yeah, let's just get a moat. Okay, there's that's the main core that we don't want to break just yet. So let's gain the charge that we want. needs to break some stuff so let's just do uh, let's do just that okay rampage is in four turns I want to sneak around to the back here and then I want to go after that core there we go we got two moats over there the rampage has been reset so I'm okay with sneaking around to scoop them up Always scoop up the splinter moats. Because those are the ones that give us the goods. You know? We like getting the goods. go. We've got another splinter in there, so what I want to try and do is just goose it at this point. Okay, well, that was a lot of bounce that didn't go anywhere, admittedly, so that's not great. But we're still fine. Just got to open up some holes in this dude. And then break them, just like that. <sighs> All 
Alright, so it seems that even if it devours a whole bunch of those pools, um, we still do just fine. No renowned bonus for an old weapon. That's fine. We're about to get a new one, I'm thinking. Cinnabar will regularly deliver requests from settlements who need your help. Okay. Well, hmm. It seems that we don't actually have anything we can make right now. Seems that they don't really like each other that much, but that's fine. Uh, well, with nothing else to do. So, that's got a Tusk Crawler attack. It's got a Striker Tooth. That's a new thing. But we've also got a couple of expeditions here. Uh, let's, do, let's do this one, because we can get some new stuff, I think. Maybe if we do it. Okay, so where are we? We're here? Alright. We learned the element. Where is our settlement again? Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of things this time. Explosive Essence, Fire Essence. Okay, Acid Tiles take two damage at the start of your turn. We can craft the Charge Potions and the Health Potions. Uh, let's do the Explosive again. Let's do Fire Essence as well. Oh, wait, no, okay, we can only have one, never mind. Um, well, let's go and just kind of goose it then before it gets everything. This shouldn't be too difficult a battle. Okay, you are definitely different. A shard striker tooth that rampages in four turns. Okay. This could be a bit more difficult than I was thinking. We've got to destroy a core in four turns. Okay, so as long as we can reach that one in this turn, we'll be able to break it. We'll be able to reset the rampage. Okay, there we go. Pass it out and we're fine. Go. Oh, okay. I was worried uh, for a second. I thought that m I thought we somehow lost lost our chance after all. Okay, 
get a mode anyway. It's fine. Send me right back towards that three if I can, please. Okay, three is very protected. That grow is very strong, admittedly. I don't know if I like that very much. Two turns to break a three. Can we do it? I'm hoping so. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. As long as we can break that one when it recontextualizes, as it, may, as it is, we want to get towards that one. And I think that's just the way to do it. Okay, we got that four over there, we got the five there. Uh, it's one of those two that I want to make sure we break in proper form. the wrong direction oh my god come on there we go yeah good 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 okay we're fine we're fine boom go in there okay well this could be a bit of a problem okay never mind we're good get towards going on that one. Oh, nope, that's not where I wanted to go at all, partner. Sorry, but can we redirect ourselves to this area? Nope, okay. I'd really like to get myself right down in there, please. that's just the way we want to go. Nope. Oh dear, this could be a bit of a problem. Come on, hit that damage, hit the damage. There we go. Sometimes you've just got to ignore the moats in a battle like this, especially. There we go. We're fine. We block it. We block all of those all the time. Okay. Um. There we go. Okay, right, that, 
that worked out fine. We got a howl spark. sword and shield. Raising a renowned level unlocks new quests. Okay. There's a needle beak over there. There's a tusk crawler over there. Let's do this. Uh, let's let's do some story. What is our new Voltaic Blade? We've got the strike as usual. On core bounce, deal eight damage and stop. Okay. So the 30 charge, 25 steps. Until first bounce, gain one block. Okay. Okay. So if we go, uh, if we go, if we use this from a distance, we'll probably gain a lot of block. If possible, lose 10 block. If block is spent, deal three damage in medium radius. Okay, so what we want to do basically is get close to its core with the stab. And then use the surge. Okay. That seems to be the strategy for this, for this uh, weapon. Let's see if we can work it out. All right. There's our girl, but we might want to do a bit of work first here. We learned the element, it's got increased attack. That's fine. Five rampage, we can deal with that. We've got seven materials. Let's see what we can do. So I would like some uh, explosive essence plus, fire essence plus. I have adult scales at a medium radius. They all take two damage. Um. Okay. Well, we know this is a shard one, so they don't. Let's do the explosive essence for this one. Uh, let's do the essence plus, and then we'll go about back over here to our sister, or cousin. Okay, well, we didn't exactly get tons of blueberries there. The beast hasn't moved, but it's still getting the pools? Okay, well now it's disappeared. You see, that's what I don't like. The beast doesn't update in, you know, areas of fog of war. Come on, what? There you are. Okay, well, it's fully upgraded because the map is a little bit of a little bit of a silly silly thing, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, so we're gonna start by weakening this little thing here as much as we can. Just do our assorted damage, gain our assorted charge here. There we go. We handled one at four turns though, so we'll handle one at five too. Um, okay, so if possible lose ten block. Okay, so the fortifying charge here, this is the one that gives us block. 
So let's aim for that and gain our block. There we go. And then we can do the same thing. Let's just do a strike for now and get our char get some charge back here. If we can. Okay. So it defended itself as that. Let's go and uh, aim specifically at this here. Okay, so this, if we go in, we can deal 8 damage and then stop. That'll just destroy the core as it is. Okay, so then, when does this release? Is, does it release it before we start moving or after? Nonetheless, I think that was the good move here. Because now we can just... Okay, we did tons of damage there. Oh, its attack is 8, because it's boosted. Alright, alright. Um, fortifying charge. Let's go in towards the moat we just got. Nice, nice, okay. So then, yeah, shocking stab. Deals 8 damage to that. Okay. We're doing very good right now. We're doing very good. Um, so. Break this. Easy as pie. Okay, it'll damage us, but that's fine. Where's it coming back in? There, okay. So let's try and squeeze in there. We'll get tons of block. Get both of the modes in one go. Okay, so then if we go in with this next turn will be fine. But for now, let's de armor it a bit. If we can. It's only going to grow four back. Okay, it armored itself, so that's fine. So let's just go in. Okay, we have to expose the core first, though, don't we? So let's just do that. Let's just reset the rampage here on it. We'll take our little bit of damage. Still got 20, that's fine. Okay, expose the core. Shocking stab. Get our little modes here. Break these out. Okay, rampage in two turns. We want to try and get that. We want to try and hit the uh, little little wedge there. Okay, hold on. We don't need that.
we go. Okay. So that's how that works then. Very good. Very good. Okay, new companion. Let's see what our friend here has to say. Okay, Poppy. What can we do in this here kitchen? Okay, okay. Uh, nothing new to craft. I'm going to do, I think, one more expedition. Ooh. So we can take someone with us now. Well, let's do this one. We've got tracking powers and battle powers. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at these closely here. We got Poppy, pronouns she, her. Travel supplies, berry batter cookies. Very good. Sounds, those sound delicious. Um, okay, so they stop the beast from rampaging once per battle with their battle ability. So if ever reaches zero. No, it seems that both of them have zero resets. Hmm, okay. So Poppy throws healing treats onto the field for us. Uh, and they're tracking away. Forage any space. Use on any space. Uh, gather materials from that space and all surrounding spaces. Okay. So that's just a big, big grab of materials. Okay. This reveals a space on the map and all surrounding spaces. It circles the beast and fires 30 non-lethal arrows. Uh, yes, Jonquil. I, I mean, I'm presuming that's how the name is pronounced. Jonquil, Jonquil. It's translated Hardy Seed Scramble. And pronouns he, him. I'm going to go for the offensive ability. Oh, okay, there we go. Now I've got one rampage reset. Uh, very good, very good. Uh, can't really do any new armors right now. Oh, nor new, nor, nor, well, we have a new weapon, bow and arrow, that we can't change or look at. Okay. We've got a shard needle beak. Okay, okay.
Okay, we need some ammo. our turn early to convert ammo into charge so how much do we get for our one we get 10 okay got a pummel shot fires three arrows in a cone deal two damage stop okay Okay. This is a very different strategy, isn't it? Okay, I want to get out of the attack range, please. Okay, thank you. Let's break that. And we'll send one right here. Snap that. And you know what? Let's do one more and just pick up these here. Okay. All right, we're at full charge. Let's hit a couple of reloads. Let's do a snipe bolt directly this way because that gave us more charge there okay and that's why there's three arrows in a cone yeah so we're gonna just do some big damage here do a couple reloads Do a reload and then, yeah, scatter these. Okay, so it just deals two damage and then stops. So let's, yeah.
Okay, well, we took damage. You know what? Yeah, take that down. Do a little damage. Doesn't seem like we're getting motes for this, though. So, what I'd actually like to do is get out of the way. Oh, no, we are. Okay. There's moats right over there. This is the one that's attacking? Alright, so if I use this... Oh, okay. So if it reaches Rampage, then it'll use that ability. I got it now. I got it now. You know what? Terminate. return. <laughs> oh, I like him. I like him. And we get some new armor. I'm thinking to go with it. Okay. So we have reload roll the arrow flight, the pummel shot, and the snipe bolt. When inside a core, 50% chance to deal one damage. That's not very good though. I mean, it, this is a scale clearing thing though, I'm presuming, so that's what it's meant for. And we got the scout's mantle, 10 max self plus, and a bonus ammo tile. Okay, gain five ammo when we damage it, okay. So that's something to be useful there. Oh, we got a new bow and quiver though. Let's take a look at what happens with this one. Um, the reload roll, of course. That's kind of standard, I guess, across all bows. Okay. Applies essence. Scale bounce, thirty percent chance to deal one damage. If core is an attacking core, distract. Okay, so if the attacking core is hit, it's we can cancel attacks with that. Uh, this is taunt. Core scale bounce, deal one damage, add one taunt. Okay. Core is corroded, deal one damage. Tile takes one damage at the end of the beast's turn. Okay, okay. I like it. I like it. So that's the new bows tab. We still have two more that left that we can go ahead and uh, unlock later. What does Poppy have to say?
Alright, so she wants to give Cinnabar what for? Um, but for now, I think that's... I think that's all for our first look at Beast Breakers. Um, I definitely want to do another video on this. This game is a lot of fun. Um, things I would probably improve... Um, I don't know if it's just me. Uh, I don't know if it's just a, my experience or kind of a universal one with those who have played this game, but tracking is very confusing to me. Uh, I just don't get it. Um, so, if there was a way to perhaps explain that a little bit more, or, you know, really hammer home those concepts, as it were, I think I would probably enjoy those segments a lot more. Because as it stands right now, it just seems like the beast gets everything it wants, and I fight all my battles at a disadvantage. Which, you know, I didn't exactly struggle too much with that. Um, but I still think it is a point that could probably use a little bit of polish. Um, as far as gameplay goes, I obviously didn't get very far. Um, but the fields are very open, very empty. And that is by definition. You know, the beasts themselves, they serve as obstacles and such. But, you know, with the companions, they add a little bit of... Um, collectibles, I guess you can get. Like, Poppy gives us healing items on the field. Um, however, a little bit more variety, I guess, in fields. You know, a little bit more tiles, perhaps a little more obstacles, and or collectibles. Maybe something that increases the attack of your weapon for a single turn. So, like, Strike does two damage if you pick it up before you hit a tile, you know, it, it, it's a little bit of an extra strategy depth to the game. And maybe we will see this later, you know, maybe I'm just preaching to the choir and they've already implemented ideas such as this. But if not, well, I think they could make the game a lot more fun. Um, but yeah, besides that, as far as, you know, the general design of the game, I love the art style, I love the characters. They're all completely adorable. Um, I love John Quill and his favorite armchair that is now a death trap for any non hedgehog near it <laughs> um and the music yeah it's very good music very cute music i love how the theme kind of changes as we've been shifting through the areas here you know getting a little bit of a deeper ambiance as we go into the forge the cellar having kind of like i guess the base version of the theme the hearth is obviously you know lighthearted and playful as well in the kitchen is just, yeah, light and peppy, just like Poppy. Overall, I'd say this game is definitely, yeah, I'm gonna play, I'm going to play it again. I'll probably do a part two for this mouse's cheese bits. Um, but for this episode, for this video, um, goodbye and good night, everyone. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Twitch, as they will be linked in the description. You'll get all updates on things I do if I ever start streaming again. I really haven't in a long time, um, but someday, someday I will. Um, so yeah, make sure to give a follow over there, and make sure to subscribe and like the video as well, because that just helps me out quite a bit. Alright, goodbye everyone, and thank you for watching.